times that I look in my, you know, uh, 21 year old self and think, oh my God, you know, they have flying toilets in Kibera. Yeah, and there's a boy all the way in the US making a difference in their lives. As for you, you sit here with your books and say, watch an It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. However, there's something you can do as you, Maliza. That boy is Maliza is an elite at that time. But he still impacted the world. I was so upset. By the time I came back, I went just to walk in Kibera Sands for no good reason, just to walk. Just to say, I've been here, take me a photo. <laughs> you know? I mean, I, I'm not providing water yet, but I have to take a photo in Kibera. I was so offended. And that's when I realized, oh my goodness, this mindset of ours has got to shift. A 12-year-old is changing the world, while a 21-year-old in Africa thinks, will you be here to Will you be gay? No wonder when they get into parliament, they think, hey! But the British government see to say, yeah, now my portfolio to fix. Okay? But the American government see to say, yeah, now it's my campaign money here to resource. That's the way we think. It starts from a very early age. Dependence syndrome. So what that point number four, tenets of the cooperative movement, read it again, it says what? Autonomy and independence, you've got to do away with the dependence.